Tillman. Welcome back to Introducing Izzy. I'm your host, Izzy Tillman. And uh, how are you doing? Today we're going to be talking about the Jenner sisters and their newfound love, a possible lawsuit with Lizzo, and a heartbreak recently between Will Smith and Jada Pinkett Smith, apparently splitting seven years ago. Oh, oh, and the best mouse couple ending things forever. Or maybe not forever. We'll see. Anyway, let's talk about it. So first topic, the Jenner sisters. So Kylie Jenner is apparently with Timothy Chalamet. Entertainment Tonight confirmed their relationship after Coachella's first weekend. They were, t they were later seen at Beyonce's Renaissance tour, which it has been so great watching like everybody at that tour. It's oh, so beautiful. And they've been spotted in New York for New York Fashion Week events. And that's kind of all we know about them right now. But we got from an inside source that apparently they run in the same circle of friends, have a great time when they're together, but it's not that serious. Kylie is having fun, and although she's opening to seeing where things go, they're not in a committed relationship whatsoever. And on to the other sister, Kendall Jenner and... Mr. Bad Bunny, Mr. Benito, um, they've been seen at basketball games out together. And apparently he's way different than her ex, Devin Booker. And they were so spotted at another fashion week, but instead in Mulan. And they were spotted in NYC, the big New York, the big Apple. So, I mean, that's all good and well. I really, I hope the best for them. I'm really happy that Kendall is not going for somebody else that plays basketball. Because we all know how that went. And, you know, I'm really happy because they, they seem really cute together. They've been giggling. And both of the Jenner sisters seem really happy right now. They're flourishing. Um, and we haven't heard anything from exes like Travis Scott or Devin or anybody. But when we do, we'll let you know because... Oh, We'll see. On to the next topic. Lizzo was sued by her designer on her team by the name of Asha Daniels for sexual harassment, wrongful termination, disability discrimination, assault, and racism. So a generally a not so great work environment. Not long ago, she was accused of something similar by her background dancers on tour, but now it's spreading to more of her team. Mm -mm -mm. So, I mean, generally, what do we think about Lizzo? Do we like Lizzo? Yeah! We like Lizzo! But I, I don't know. I mean, I'm going to assume that she did this because we believe victims. However, um, I mean, I think the last background dancers were accused, I mean, or no, they came out and said that they were lying or something like that, like it was false, so I don't know what's going on there, but if we hear anything else, we'll let you know, but right now, Lizzo's not doing so well, mm-mm-mm, okay, Jada and Will Smith, ugh, this is so sad. Those two have been together since the mid-1990s. They have three kids. And it is just so sad. They've been so cute together over the years. But apparently, they have been separated for the past seven years. Since 2016. Which is really confusing because, as I recall, Will Smith, like, smacked Chris Rock like in March of like 2022 or 2021 because he was talking bad about I mean I guess his ex-wife G.I. Jane 2 gonna see it hello I don't know what's going on there I mean I I I think that that whole situation was ridiculous but everybody was painting Jada out to be the villain and I think she's been telling people that she's not and I don't know what's going on anymore I'm really concerned I'm really confused um but they have three amazing kids and I would love to know how they're doing right now they have Trey Smith who I think is only Will Smith's son 
Um, and then Jaden Smith and Will Willow Smith. Um, Trey and Jaden are both actors, I believe. And then Willow is a very popular singer. I just I want to know how they're living their lives because this cannot be good. And before we get on to our last topic, I forgot to mention this in the intro, but we have a very special interview that was filmed a couple of days ago with a certain somebody who may or may not be the apparently kid who went viral in 2014. I know that's right. Yes, the apparently kid Noah Ritter came on our show just to tell you, catch you up on the latest events. So, let's watch. Okay. <clears throat> and welcome back to Introducing Izzy. We have a special guest on the show today, and we have the apparently kid, Noah Ritter. Hi, How's it nice going? Okay. All right. So, would you like to explain who you are and like what the apparently viral thing was? Yeah, my name's uh, Noah. I'm the apparently kid. I was got famous at a county fair, and now I go to Pottsgrove High School. Okay. So, um, I have questions from people who have seen the show and other people around, and um, they want they have a lot of questions. Number one, but the first one that I have is, how much money did you get from being on Helen? <laughs> Uh, I don't know the exact amount. <laughs> I, I I can get it when I'm 18. So if anyone wants to hit me up in four years and wants me and wants to like know the exact amount, I can I can give it to you in a four year timer. All right. Um, another thing. Who is the most famous person you met from doing Hamilton? Uh, probably Chris Pratt. Chris Pratt. Either that or Brad Pitt. I mean, no, uh, Pitbull. Pitbull. I I met. I swear to God, I met him at a backstage at Ellen. Mr. 305, Mr. Worldwide. <laughs> okay. Um, do you tell people that you're the apparently kid for special treatments, get special things? Whenever I get pulled over. Whenever you get pulled over. <laughs> but like for other things like like restaurants or reservations. No, no. Oh. I usually, usually my friends tell other people. Oh. And then you get special treatment. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you know, a free dessert here and there, you know, little fifty dollars off some coupon. That's cool. Um, how many people have reached out to you? Like that are famous, that have reached out to you? Uh good amount, good amount. I had uh there's this one YouTube channel that they like remixed my uh, interview into like a song and then they and then they reached out to me uh, like maybe like a year ago, asking if I wanted to like come on their channel for like a remix of that oh that's cool did you end up doing it or no no i, I don't know what just happened it just all right um do you still have oh the famous shirt in the video or do you have any like memorable items from the video yeah i i, I still have the shirt you still have the shirt i like still have it? it yeah my mom made, no my mom made it into a blanket like with all with like a bunch of other shirts that I wore oh when I went God. on Ellen. <laughs> so that's just one that's just one part of it. Do you think that would sell for a lot? Like the whole like the whole blanket, I'd feel like it I feel like it wouldn't be that much, but if I just like cut the te like cut that shirt out, like that part specifically, it would definitely go for a lot. Wow. Okay. Are there any oh sorry. That's, I'm gonna ask you that last. But it's bad whipped cream and then you walk off. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Can you spell the word apparently? Alright. Come on, spell it. A, alright, A, P, P, R, E, N, T, O, Y. I don't know if that was correct, but I'm going to take your word for it. I could check my Instagram, man, and just plug it on the show. <laughs> oh, yeah, follow Noah Ritter's Instagram. Yeah, it's at... Literally the Apparently Kid Instagram? It's at the underscore Apparently Kid on Instagram. It has a link to my YouTube channel. We got almost eight. We got almost 80,000 subs. Woo! Trying to get 100 by the end of the year. 
A P P A R E N T L Y. I think I missed that extra A in there, but it's fine. You know, because he apparently can. Exactly. <laughs> Do people recognize you like out on the street when they see you? I remember the first week of school, I got recognized in my study hall. Oh. Someone came up to me and tapped me on the shoulder. Like, Are you that famous kid? Are you that famous kid? And I and I still get recognized. I got recognized at a. I think I got recognized at the the Pottstown the, the Friday the the football game, the the Pottstown game on Friday. Oh. Someone recognized me while I had my helmet off on the sidelines. Yes. Ooh. And then they like asked for a picture, like your autograph or something. No. Really? No, because they were a little, they were far away from the field. It was while we were walking back during halftime. Do you have an autograph that's like special? No, I just write my name on a piece of paper and give it to somebody. <laughs> I want the experiment. Huh. Um, this is a super special one that came specifically from me. What's it like being a leprechaun? <laughs> well, well, it's it's nice. You know, you get special treatment at Irish pubs. Oh, of course. Yesterday there was a there, yesterday there was a rainbow. It wasn't mine, so there wasn't any gold there. Oh. It was, it was some other. It was some. It was someone else's. Do you get a pot of gold or? Have a yeah, it's somewhere in, in somewhere in the northeast. <laughs> um, is your like favorite food like worms? No. No. What's your favorite food? Beer? Not <laughs> no. <laughs> Jack Jack Daniel Jameson. <laughs> no, it's fish and chips. Um, uh, is that is that Irish? Still Irish, yeah. That's so Irish. Woo! <laughs> Still somewhere. In in Europe. Okay. Wrapping up the interview. Ten years later, do you have any big life updates? Like anything serious, anything big that's going on? Uh, I play football now. Third string JV, left uh, left guard. Oh. Woo. Okay. I else? also plug this during the Instagram thing. I have a YouTube channel called The Apparently Kid with almost. 80,000 subscribers, and I'm going to try and get that to 100,000 to get a silver play button. Silver play button. And, it may, and I might I might hang it around my neck like a chain. I might put it in my backpack and just show it to all the teachers. <laughs> it's like, you can't, you, can't mark, you can't mark me late. I have this. Just whip it out of the backpack. He gets it. Don't worry. I'll convince him. I'll bring it. I have, I have, I have many birds. It's, it's, it, I've never gotten a traffic. I've, uh, I've never gotten a speeding ticket. Just never happened. I'm impressed. All right. Do you have any words of wisdom? Final words of wisdom before we close off. Uh, to all the people that are, to all the people that are old enough to have children out there, weirdly watching this interview. If your kid wants to go talk to a news reporter or a strange man in a white van, let them do it. <laughs> let them do it. All let right. Let them do it because they might end up like me. <laughs> they might end up like him. Rich and famous. Getting interviewed in a, getting interviewed in a TV studio right now. Or that too. All right, give it up for Noah Ritter. That was very heartfelt. Thank you once again to Noah Ritter for coming on our show and you know doing this with us. But now we are on to our last topic of the evening. A sad way to end off the show. Mickey and Minnie Mouse? <laughs> so apparently the two are getting a divorce, even though I never knew that there was a marriage, and I was certainly never invited to one. But, I mean, I was never invited to the wedding, but now the whole world is seeing the divorce. <sighs> apparently Mickey and Minnie are getting divorced. Um... CNN apparently said that Walt Disney had decided that they were both married, even though they never got a wedding, or there was never an on-screen wedding, and I guess now it's all over. We found a couple articles, and people are so distraught. We have a lot of people on, like, Twitter talking about it, all the famous, famous places. Everybody is just so upset. But generally, the public is not too happy about this. However, can we please get somebody backstage to figure out if Donald and Daisy had broken up? Like, did they break up? Because 
I mean, oh my god. Oh, okay. Oh! Oh, okay! So, Donald and Daisy are still together. They just broke up the OG couple for no reason. They're just, they hate m magic, joy, and fun. They hate sunshine and rainbows. And I just, I can't support this. People on Twitter are upset. People, uh, everybody, everybody is just so distraught. And I cannot believe this. 